Hey everybody, welcome back to art class. Oh, it's great to see you. That's me, Matthew Reinhardt, and I'm your art teacher, and we're back in art class. Yay, we've got a new art project. Yay. Doing art class again. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, let's get started. Today, we are going to make our very own sculpture from um, reclaimed, recycled items. So, you know, we, we, we are um, using things that, that are cast aside, you know, they're put aside, they're thrown out. Everything is, that I got here is left over from my, my recycling bin, including like boxes and stuff. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a piece of artwork. Um, we're actually gonna make a specific um, piece of artwork um, inspired by an artist I really loved as a kid. And um, his name is Jim Gary. Jim Carrey was an American sculptor who lived from 1939 until 2006. Now, when he was 11 years old, he left home to make a living on his own doing like all kinds of odd jobs and everything where he lived in New Jersey. And he was lucky enough that a kindly local couple um, took him in and encouraged his, his education. And when he was a teen, he constructed his own unique bicycle from junk parts. And soon, he even built a working automobile from those parts, um, even before he got a driver's license. So he's really talented. When he went in to join the US Navy when he was older, he honed his welding skills and became a really good welder. And he actually ended up teaching welding. Soon he became um, an artist because he was building all kinds of really cool sculptures from um, found objects and junk and he was entirely self-trained. He welded together junkyard parts, transforming them into living creatures, human figures, and most famously, and this is why I love um, Jim Carrey, dinosaur skeletons. Okay, so he used to turn old brake shoes into dinosaur feet, oil pans into faces, axles into legs. His metal skeletal creations um, were often painted with bright colors and they were exhibited in museums, botanical gardens, and universities. Here's a little fun fact. Jim Gary is the only sculptor ever invited to present a solo exhibition at the Smithsonian Institute's National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. And that was exhibited back in 1990. So he was a big artist that I loved as a kid. I remember seeing his work in magazines. I never actually got to see one in real life, um, but I used to love them. And I thought that today we would, we would make some artwork inspired by Jim Gary's amazing metal dinosaur skeletons. Let's do it. Today, we're gonna to make our own dinosaur skeletons. Ooh, made from um, our found objects, from our recycled items. And so, the things that I'm gonna use, um, you may not necessarily have in your recycling bin, right? Um, but, we, but we're gonna start from things I think everybody has, which is um, box. We're gonna use a box and some cardboard. And this is just cardboard that I've cut from um, some boxes that were getting ready to be recycled. And let me get some more here. And we are gonna start making our dinosaur skeleton from these recycled pieces of cardboard. Let's get started, yay! Now when we're making this project, we're going to use a glue gun. And you gotta be careful with a glue gun, right? Because it's really, really hot. Ow! Oh my time! See, I'm just kidding you. <laughs> it's not plugged in. But when it is plugged in, you can't touch that. You gotta be really careful with glue guns because you can hurt yourself, okay? So if you're not allowed to use a glue gun by yourself, get someone who is in the house, I don't know, whether it's an alien or, or um, an adult or you know your older brother or sister or grandma or um, I don't know, an older, anyone who can use one. Just be careful with the glue gun and make sure that you always have something under it to catch the glue, see the little glue globs? You can, and that it, that it can stand up and you don't leave it and you don't leave it out and you turn it off immediately after you're done doing the project okay so it's 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 a great tool it's a wonderful tool you know um, but it's a little hot ah! just kidding it's unplugged remember I just did that joke um, mainly what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna cut up some cardboard and put it together and try to make a dinosaur skeleton and one of the most important things that we're going to need uh, is research. This right here, look at that. Mm, research. So I'm going to do a Styracosaurus, which is a Ceratopsian dinosaur. It has, you know, it's kind of like a Triceratops, but it doesn't have the, the extra three, two horns over its eyes. And it has a bunch of horns on the back of its um, shield. And so I went online and I got some pictures so that I know kind of what the shapes are I'm going to make. And so I'm going to just put this up in this corner. I'm going to move this tape right there. I'm going to keep it up here 
just right there. So I can look at it and go, oh, I'm supposed to make this and this and this. All right, so um, should we get started? I can't wait. Let's go. First, I'm going to get started making our dinosaur skeleton. I'm looking at the drawing. And I think what we need to do is we need to start making a backbone, right? Because the backbone, we need to make the backbone and tail to start off. And then we can build the legs off of it. And then we can put the, the ribs and then the head, OK? The head's going to be last. So let's start off. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a backbone using this cardboard. And I'm just going to cut it sort of in an, in an arc like this. And then, ooh, look at this. We're using some of our, our things. I'm going to make, see this here, this part of his skeleton? That's his pelvis, or her pelvis. So I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, ooh, let's see here. How can I do this? I'm going to actually cut a little slit in here like this. I'm looking at my materials and I'm like, hey, you know, this shape of the pelvis, maybe I could use some of this egg carton. So what you're going to need to do, sometimes you're just going to have to look at some of the materials. Blah, I can't even talk. <laughs> sometimes you're going to have to look at some of the materials you have and see if you can use them and see if they fit. So we're going to do what Jim Gary did. He looked at all the junk in the, in the junkyard, and he looked at the stuff, and he said, hmm, what does that look like? So this is going to be a little bit freeform, because you know, you're going to have to look at what you have. Let's see, does this fit in there? Ooh, look at that. I cut it so it just would fit inside. Maybe I'll take this sticker off. So look at that. I made a little, that's going to be the little pelvis there. So this is, and we're going to build the legs off there and there. Oh, you know what else we have to build? Let's maybe take some more of that and we'll make these, these are shoulder blades. Hmm, let's see, I, I let's see, do I see something that we could use? I like that this is using different pieces. Hmm, maybe I'll do some more of this. Maybe I'll make one shoulder blade and then maybe over here I'll make another one. And I'm just guessing. I don't know what this is going to look like. Maybe it will look terrible. We're just playing around and having some fun. Let's see. If we glue these up here, those kind of look like shoulder blades there. We're going to glue it right there. We're going to glue another one right there. But we should make sure that they're kind of, they kind of look like each other, right? Do, do, do. This is going to be a very interesting project. Now I can see why it was so hard for Jim Gary to make his sculptures. Because you got to look at what you have and see if it looks like what, whatever you're trying to make. It's kind of hard. All right, let's get rid of this here. Because we don't want to mess. I make so many messes. OK, all right. I smell something. That is the hot glue gun over here, which I'm going to make sure it works. All right. So see this piece that I just I slipped in there? Maybe first, before I use the hot glue gun, you just wait right there, hot glue gun. All right. We're going to use a little bit of this masking tape. Do you ever do this when you're doing the masking tape and you can't find the end and you go like this forever and ever and ever and ever? and ever and ever. Oh wait, there it is. There's the end. Ugh, so hard to find the end. What we're going to do is we're just going to tape it in here a little. I'm just going to use a little tape going this way. And look, I used too much tape, so I'm just going to snip it right there. Right there. See what I did? I'm going to tape it under the other side too, but I'm not going to use as much tape this time. I learned my lesson. This project is fun. I haven't made a big paper sculpture like this in so long. And then I think what we'll do is we'll tape these kind of going this way. And we'll put the ribs under there. So I think we'll tape those there. And I'm going to tape, you can, like I said, you can use masking tape. 
you could actually use regular tape if you want to but regular tape doesn't quite stick as well on cardboard and stuff like that it doesn't stick as well and the reason why I'm using tape at first is the tape is going to kind of keep it in place and then we're going to use the hot glue gun to make sure that it stays in place the tape is going to guide where it needs to be and you could just leave it with regular tape if you want to but the the the, the um, glue gun that we're going to use it's actually going to keep it really strong but remember respect the tools that you're working with just like you have to be careful with scissors be careful with the glue guns because I've come back to my house after leaving it on and thankfully nothing burned in the house but you know you you just got to be careful it freaked me out because I don't want anyone I don't want some glue gun burning down my house and then and then I, uh, I and, and ruining all my art supplies oh that would be horrible oh all right so there we go see see now that is let's let's look at our picture so so this is the backbone, right? That, that, that's the backbone. This here is the pelvis, which is this area here. And then these shoulder blades here are this. And we can build the legs off of that. We can put a tail on there, put the head, and then we'll add some ribs. All right, let's put this aside. Now, I think it's time we use our glue gun a little. So I'm gonna get it over here. I'm just gonna add some glue. I'm gonna add some glue up here at the top. Just make sure it's in place. I'm also going to add it on top of this tape here just to make sure it stays on there. I hate those 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 strings that get everywhere. Make sure you don't touch that glue. Let it dry first and it'll dry really fast. I'm just going to add that on and add that on. Mm -hmm. Gluing with the glue gun is fun. Ooh, that rhymes. Gluing with the glue gun. It's the fun. It's the one. We always like to use it, the glue gun. That's right. Whew. Okay, now we're going to let this dry. This is our backbone with um, the pelvis. Okay, let's get started on the next part. All right, now we're going to make some... I, I found these um, paper towel rolls. And what we're going to do is we're going to make legs out of these. Um, I think, let's see how big our dinosaur is. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to actually cut it up in the center like this. And then I'm just going to cut it going straight up. Now you may have other things that you can use for your dinosaur, um, which is totally cool. Use whatever materials you have available. I'm just going to use this because this is what I have available. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I, I, I cut the um, paper towel roll up and I'm going to cut it in half actually because I think we could make two legs. We could make one leg like that and we could make another leg like that. See? So I'm going to use some tape. Hey, masking tape. And I'm going to tape it so that these these ends meet. It's kind of hard. <laughs> I have missed doing art class with everyone, and I've been thinking about doing this Jim Gary project, this 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 uh, cardboard dinosaur skeleton for a while. But I just been so busy with work. I'm working on two books right now that I can't tell you about yet. Isn't that stink? I can't tell you the secret of them. But, um, but they're both really cool. And they may be a little inspired by this project. All right, there's one leg, look. And then we're just gonna glue it down underneath that. There's one leg. And then there's gonna be another one. So let's make, let's make four of these. Here are uh, the two back legs, they're a little longer. Here are the front legs. We got those. You know, I think we need to build a base, right? A base that we can we can glue everything to, so our, our dinosaur stands up. So let's take another piece of um, let's take another piece of cardboard. Let's cut it into a rectangle, and we'll see if it's big enough. We have to make it big enough so we think that the legs can stand on it. And here's how we're gonna tell. 
we put our dinosaur right here, our, our, our um, backbone, we know that one leg is going to go here, 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 and then here. So this looks like the perfect size. So if you want, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to make this edge a little bit nicer because it looks kind of it looks kind of rough. You could even curve it if you wanted to. I think I'm going to do that. That looks kind of cool. So we're just making a base that we're going to stick our dinosaur onto so it doesn't have trouble standing up. I'm going to glue the legs and then, oh, that looks nice. Look at that. And I made a nice rectangle. And let's kind of, let's draw, let's, let's add our, well, we're just going to put our skeleton just above it. And we're gonna we're gonna sort of use a marker. Let's where is a marker? This is just a mess, Matthew. You need to clean up. That's one thing you gotta always keep the workspace pretty clean, don't we? Let's take a marker, and we're just gonna make dots kind of where the legs need to go. So one's there, and let's, there's another leg that's gonna go under here from the pelvis. You're getting a little um, anatomy lesson, right? I don't know that much actually, and then. Under the shoulder blades here, there's going to be one and then one. So those are where, those little dots there, those are where we're going to glue our um, feet to. And let's use our glue gun again. Be careful with it. Let's put a little bit of glue just underneath. See how I made that little um, bit? And these are going to be the short parts of the leg. So let's try to just make sure our legs stay in place. Just like right there. There's one. And the other short leg is going to be up front. I'm going to do another big circle like that of gl glob of glue. And we're going to stick this part, this leg, underneath here. All right, we got to let that dry. All right, and now let's do the back legs too. One. And we got to be patient. Oh no. Oh no, my glue stick ran out. Just put it right in there. Make a big there. Okay. The one thing you, with it's hard with glue gun, you got to hurry up and get your pieces in place so that the glue doesn't dry too quickly. There and there. All right, so see what I did? I'm not gonna show it from the side, but I'm, I glued them in place and then these, this is gonna go right on top. I'll show you in a minute when it's dry. Hey, so look at that, look at, oops, that one's not dry yet. Don't get impatient, Matthew. So. I'm going to hold it in place, but that's what the legs see. They're pretty strong. They're staying in place. And once we, we let that dry a little bit more, they'll totally be in place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue up on the top here of these pieces some, with our glue gun, and we're going to glue the, um, the backbone in the, with the pelvis and shoulders and all that sort of stuff on there. So let's glue it in place, just like this, with our careful. We have to do it quick too, so that it doesn't. Now you could tape it first if you wanted to. I'm going to do it this way, just to get it in place, and then let's see what, let's see that it fits. Ooh, ooh, that looks good. Ooh, that's looking good. I might have to use some tape though. Ooh, that looks good. But but just like if we were going to weld this, if these were metal parts, can't touch the hot parts. So there we go. We have made the structure of the dinosaur. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Should we add, I think we should add a little bit longer tail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use like this strip. This is one of my leftover strips. Oh wait, where's the one that's more pointy? Maybe I'll use this one. But you know what I think I'm gonna do? Instead of having it go this way, I think I'm gonna have it go this way because you know how cardboard is corrugated. See how they, they make it thick because they have like paper that's inside of it that is, that is wavy. Well, what's cool with that is you can kind of, you can use like a pen or here I'm gonna just use the edge of this um, paintbrush. And I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm just gonna do this to it. And I'm gonna try to curve it. Let's maybe cut it off, it's a little long. I'm gonna glue it just right there. Maybe I'll tape it first. See, look at that, I just added the tail. And there's the tape, right there, in there. And it's curved up, and that's just cardboard. Let's, let's use our glue gun very carefully. 
and glue it into place just like this. Beautiful. All right. And let it dry, of course. Let it dry. All right, so we are looking at our dinosaur here. And um, okay, we need, what's next? Ribs, we need to make ribs. Hmm, well let's look at our, what we have left here. Hmm, what could we make ribs out of? What about, okay, we have this. That looks, if we, if we opened it like this, let's see. There's our, there's our ribs. We're gonna tape those in and then we're gonna glue them in. <clears throat> but first I think I need to make a second one of these, right? So let's, let's, let's trace, cut a second one, but it's gonna need to go the other way. So we're kinda of have to, kinda of have to flatten it out and sort of do it a different way. And you can use a marker or whatever just to mark the outside there. And see, I have to like flatten it to go the other way because it's on the other side. All right, there's our rib cages. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the rib cage onto our structure. And we're gonna actually, we're gonna glue it under here and here just like that. So it glues right there. Look at that. Oh my God, it just went right in there. Look at that. I'm gonna let it dry. But now our skeleton is almost complete. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Here, oh yeah, let's look at the pictures. What are we missing? What are we missing? Oh, we gotta make the head. Let's do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the head from halves of these, and it's gonna go like this. I'm gonna cut a section off. It's gonna be a corner. See how I did that? And I think what I'm gonna do, this is just gonna be half of, of our, our skeleton's head. Alright, so let's get to use, let's get to making this, um, the shield for the back of this uh, dinosaur, the back of his head. And I'm just going to use some regular cardboard. I'm just going to cut sort of a, a circular shape out of it real carefully here. Mm -hmm. Just like this. And we're cutting. And there we go. And that's going to go, ooh, look at that. That fits really nicely. Um, now it has kind of holes in there. So what I think I might do is I know... I'm gonna cut some holes in it, just like this. And I know what you're saying, I know. Oh, but you cut it, now it won't be together, but we'll, we'll pull it back together, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, that's what tape and glue is for. And be real careful when you're cutting it out. Yeah, that's nice, Ooh, I like that. And then what I'm gonna do is, I think, I think it should go right like that. Cool. I'm gonna, to help me out here, before I glue it, I'm just gonna tape it into place on the back of the head, just like that, just underneath there. And now, is it straight? That's pretty good. Let's use a little hot glue. Carefully put it right there. And there, ooh, look at it, it's really hot. It was steaming, ooh, careful. All right, so we're gonna put that right there. We're gonna glue it on. Look at that, there's our head. Oh, we might need a, a lower jaw. So let's just cut one ooh, from like a, like a strip here. We'll just cut it just like that. And I'm gonna cut it across like here. Sometimes you have to look at what you've got as materials and see if you can use it. Look, I'm gonna make that for the jaw. We got some extra cards. 
cardboard left over from this cardboard roll. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of it to make, let's see, how could we do that? Hmm, we need a little thing there. Let's see, what if we do this? Because it's kind of hard to cut a hole in, in thick cardboard like this. So what I think I'm going to do is just cut something small like this and just cut a hole in it like that. See that? And I think I'm going to stick it on the side just like that. That kind of works. That works pretty well, I think. That'll be a good eye socket. Like that? Does that look good? You like that? Oh, I think that looks good. So let's do that. Let's do two of those. I'm just going to glue those on the side of... Here, come here, you. Get a little glue right here. Just like that. And we're going to stick this right on there. Like that. Mm, that's nice. Okay, so we got one um, eye. Let's do the other eye on the other side. We'll just use a little glue. And now we just need horns. Now the horns are easy, right? We can just cut them from some of our scraps. Look, that'd be a perfect horn right on the nose. That's just a scrap. I love that. Maybe I'll curve it a little. And then I'll just use a little. Hmm. What I might do is I might spread. See how that cord is? I made that little part there. That'll make it easier to glue on. There's one horn. Let's get our research. Let's see here. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Four big horns on the top. All right. So we need four big horns. So there are some. I'm just using the scrap and I'm gonna glue them up top. All right, now we've got our head. Look at that, isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, there's the head. So let's put it on the neck of our dinosaur. See, where we're gonna put it right there. Let's see, so maybe I'll just snip this off a little so that the head can fit on there a little better. Does that look good? Yeah, it looks good. Before, we gotta make sure that it holds in place, so we gotta hold it there. Hey, look at that! We glued our dinosaur skeleton together from our cardboard. Look! Oh my gosh, that is so... Cool. Look at all the horns and the head's on pretty straight. That's pretty good. See, it's pretty sturdy. We used all that hot glue. Now, now we get to paint it. And so when we paint, you know, you oh, of course want to cover your, um, your, your surface. Make sure I used to use some paper towel and I got a little water. I'm going to use some acrylic paint and um, that I have. Ooh, let's see, see what happens. I'm just going to carefully put some paint on my brush here. I'm just going to start painting this. Make you, sure you have some water to clean off your brushes or, or to also, like, if you need to um, make your, your paint a little thinner or whatever, or want to use multiple colors. I'm only going to use one color because that's the way that Jim Gary used to. He used to paint them one color pretty much, most of the time. But you could paint it any way you like. Look at that, our very own dinosaur skeleton. Thank you, Jim Gary, for inspiring our recycled dinosaur skeleton sculpture. And this is art class, and it's over for this week. But I hope you had fun. Send me pictures of your dinosaur skeletons that you make from art class. Um, uh, you can post them like on my Instagram or on my Facebook page, Matthew Ryan Pop Up Books by Matthew Reinhardt, um, or wherever. I mean, I just I want to see them. Let me know. Oh, you can go to my website, MatthewReinhardt.com, too, if you want to contact me and show me what you made. Oh, that'd be so cool. Um, well, I hope you've enjoyed making 
this cool recycled sculpture with me today in art class. And I, I just want to tell everyone out there, um, be safe, be healthy, and most of all, be kind to everyone out there. I know it's a hard time and let's stick together and let's have some fun. Let's get creative, right? So I hope you liked the video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and all that stuff if you enjoyed it. And if you hit the bell, you get notified every time there's a new video and I'm trying to do a lot more than I usually do. And I'll see you next time, class. Dude, get messy. Look at my hands. My hands say goodbye. Goodbye. See you next time.